Emporia State football hosted Southeastern Oklahoma on Saturday, the first outside opponent in almost two years. We're staying away from the quarterback, but we're going to do things the right way. We are all out here to get better. That's what we use today for. All right? And plus, you guys get the opportunity to play football again. All right? Offensively, we struggled, you know, uh, but it also it gives us a place to kind of really like like I wanted to do, kind of evaluate, kind of see how we would handle like a, a game feeling, and um, you know, I think that uh, we had opportunities, just you know, miss some plays here and there, and. I just thought we looked rusty, you know. I mean, I think you can tell when like a, like a team like Southeastern, this is their third one, and it's our first one. In the first quarter, linebacker Jack Barger had not one, but two interceptions on a day where the Hornet defense shined. We got there to make big plays, and the coaches put you in the position to make the big plays, and I'm thankful for everybody else who put me in those positions. So other than that, a great day for the defense. Just got to figure some things out as a team, and I think we're on the right track. Defensive back A. Rich Ansley added another interception, and how about this one from linebacker David Johnson? Picks one off off the foot and returns at 34 yards for the Hornets' lone touchdown of the day. The quarterback threw it, went right off his foot, right into my hands. Like, it's pretty insane, to be honest. Definitely, like, brought us the uh, momentum and, you know, gave us a chance to win the game at the end or at least tie, so. Um, but yeah, it was crazy momentum play. Emporia State's other points came on a 33-yard field goal by Clark Schoonover that he drilled as time expired in the third quarter. Although the offense might not have been quite as sharp as they'd like to be, they'll get a chance to tune up on Sunday when they host Southwestern Oklahoma. First half, we were pretty slow um, getting off the ball, but definitely second half we came out and showed up. The young dudes, um, they definitely gave us energy to get back into this game. but. Yeah, we just got to pick up some things on like tempo wise. We weren't as fast as what we wanted to be and we'll be like that next week for sure. Now, since we have it under our belt and you hopefully got that feeling back of what it's like, got that feeling back to, to play a little bit better.